Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 27 at the Stade Michel Dornano, where Khan took a shock lead against runaway leaders Paris Saint Germain on Saturday. Casimir Ninga firing in his fourth of the season on 56 minutes. The well, PSG had 17 shots on goal in the first half, but they couldn't find a way through with Kazawa, Marquinhos, and Di Maria all hitting the woodwork. But Khan's celebrations were short lived. Two minutes later, PSG awarded a penalty, and Johan Zahari handled this Musa Diaby cross. In the absence of Neymar and Cavani, Kylian Mbappe turned in his very first league and penalty, making absolutely no mistake there. And it was Mbappe who popped up with a winner for PSG three minutes from time after Tom Meunier's effort was blocked on the line. Goal number 24 of the campaign for the league's top scorer. Ideal preparation for PSG before their Champions League clash with Manchester United. They'll remain five points clear of Lyon in second place after a narrow victory over Dijon. The only goal of the game arriving on 72 minutes. Jonathan Nikone twisting and turning his way past Naif Aguerd before the unfortunate Wesley Lotoa deflected into his own net. It's a ninth home win in 14 for Lille this season. Meanwhile, it's a fifth straight loss for Dijon, who remain 19th in the table. Lyon produced the performance of the weekend as they put five past a hapless Toulouse. Memphis Depay hadn't scored in the league since mid-November, but the Dutchman needed only 10 minutes to fire in the opener here. Although Baptiste Rene could perhaps have done better. Some fancy footwork from Depay before notching his sixth of the campaign. The lead, though, lasted barely five minutes. Mathieu Dossovi making the most of a slip from Ferlan Mondi to grab his third goal of the campaign. This is his first away from home in Ligue 1 Conferama since November 2013. But Leon was soon back on the front foot. Bertrand Traore making it 2-1 on the half hour after nobody got a touch on this ball into the area. Seventh of the season for the Burkina Faso International. And the writing appeared to be on the wall for Toulouse a few minutes later. Leon captain Nabil Fakir brought down in the penalty area by Yannick Kawazak. The referee pointing to the spot. Goal number nine of the season for the world champion. Moussa Dembele then got his name on the score sheet in the second half. The former Celtic man showing great pace and power to shrug past at Chen Shoji and make it 4-1. That his eighth of the campaign. And the ninth would arrive only four minutes later. After an excellent team move, Lyon claiming an impressive 5-1 win. They're five points behind Lille and five points ahead of Marseille. Well, Marseille leapfrogged their European rival Saint-Étienne with a comfortable win at the Velodrome. It was well worth a selfie or two. Mario Balotelli showing great strength to turn in the opener from a corner. His fourth goal in six league games with Loem. Well, if they haven't won at the Velodrome since 1979, and with 20 minutes gone, they were staring down the barrel of yet another defeat. The host awarded a penalty after Machi Debushi handled Lucas Acampos' cross into the area. Florian Tovan doing the honours for his 13th of the season. That's now four goals and five assists in his last five games against Saint Etienne. 2 0, the final score. Rouse remains sixth after coming from two goals down to draw with Amiens. Amiens awarded a penalty shortly before half time when Tomofuki handled in the area. Senegal forward at Musa Kanate, sweeping it past his international teammate Edouard Mendy to make it 1 0. He also had a brace and an assist in the reverse fixture. Amiens getting their second goal just five minutes later. Mati involved in the build up. Sheikh Timote is cross taking a deflection off Yunus Abdul Hamid, catching Mendy out. It would have been Timote's first strike in Ligue 1 Conferama, but it went down as an own goal. The Rouse fight back began midway through the second half. Great work here from Arba Zanelli to set up substitute Bulai Dia, who'd only been on the pitch for about four minutes. And it took Magic Cafro only three minutes to grab an equaliser after he also came off the bench. A superb strike here to rescue a point. Rouse extending their unbeaten run to 11 matches. Nice close to within two points of Rouse with a 1-0 win at home to Strasbourg. The excellent Alan Saint Maximin celebrated his 100th league and Conferama appearance by setting up Youssef Attal for the game's only goal. A third of the season for the Algerian back in the side after a hamstring strain. Well, Nice are still very much in the hunt for Europe, but that is now five games without a win for Strasbourg. Monaco remain unbeaten in Ligue 1 since the return of Leonardo Jardim, though they had to do it the hard way in Angers. Claviante putting the hosts in front with a little help from the Monaco defence. 
So then doubled up on the stroke of half time after a poor touch from Benoit Badiashil, his fourth of the season and a first ever league and comp for Armour Brace. Monaco got one back early in the second half. Alexander Golovin fed at Radamel Falcao for his 60th league and goal. And the Colombian, who could celebrate his 100th league and appearance against Bordeaux next Saturday, had a chance to get a second when Angers captain Ismael Traore brought down the charging at Carlos Vinicius. El Tigre keeping his cool and a tail of two braces as it finished two apiece. With their closest relegation rivals Conn and Dijon facing PSG and Lille, Gangon missed the opportunities to move out of the bottom two for the first time since August. The Brittany side drawing with Nantes, but it could have been worse as the Canaries were awarded an injury time penalty for this Felix Eboa Reboa handball. Valentin Rangier was denied though by Gangon's League Cup hero Marcarel Kaya as it finished goalless. So all of the results from week 27, 21 goals scored. The Nîmes Rennes game was postponed to allow Rennes to prepare for their Europa League clash with Arsenal on Thursday. Bordeaux, meanwhile, will entertain Montpellier on Tuesday evening. PSG remain in a league of their own, 17 points clear of Lille, and their current haul of 71 points is a record at this stage. Marseille's win over Saint-Étienne moves them up to fourth, with just three points separating Levert, Reims and Nice. Gangon remain bottom, though they did pull a point closer to Dijon and Caen, a five-point gap up to Amiens, who are one point behind Monaco. Arge now all but safe, they have a 14-point gap on the relegation playoff place. PSG's game in Nantes next weekend has been postponed after a request from the local prefecture, but Lyon and Monaco will both be in action on Saturday. Mario Balotelli is then set to go up against his former side as Marseille hosts Nice on Sunday night.